Good evening, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, gangsters and divas. It's me once again, O.T. Russell, your host for this evening. Thanks for being here with me. Now, tonight we'll be discussing something that I ran across again in my studies and this journey of infinite growth and development. Congruency and incongruency, personality and science psychology. This is something that I discovered that I've been struggling with probably as long as I can remember. You know, congruency means to be aligned and harmony with, okay? In psychology, that means you are aligned and harmony with your ideal and real self. Now, personally, I feel like I've not been aligned with my real self and ideal self. And the funny thing is, I felt this way f for years, for years, and two years ago, around this time, 22, I created this design that you see me wearing. Not 22, it's 21. Yeah, I created this design you see me wearing. It says Orlando Tyrone. Okay. Now, under here it says Orlando Tyrone as well. Now, let me kind of, I printed it out so you can see it a little bit clearer on this paper there. Okay. All right. Orlando Tyrone. That is me. All right. However, those—that's—it's two. It's they, they, those are two different styles because there's two different personalities that's going on in this this logo that you see here, in this design. You know, it's, you see the you know in black, you know the upright guy who's got it all together. Then boom, in red, you got that rebel who's coming across that all that out like we doing something different over here. Yeah. That's kind of how I feel. That's kind of what's going on in my mind. It's like a duality of personalities. Um, and like I said, I didn't know what the term was. I didn't know exactly what it was until yesterday. Well, day before yesterday, I found, discovered this term, congruency and incongruent. I'm going to read off a bit of what I discovered, okay? Congruency in psychology is performing actions that are congruent, meaning aligned and harmony, consistent balance between the real self and the ideal self. The real self is sometimes also referred to as the perceived self, all right? Incongruency in psychology is when the real self does not align with the ideal self. The real self is the self-image of the present moment. The ideal self is the project is the self-projection of the individual or who the individual wants to be or how they see themselves in the future. Yeah. So there was a disconnect there. There was a disconnect because of reasons maybe a little bit longer than what I can get into right here but nevertheless there was a disconnect partially because the career I'm working in an occupation on business in which it requires more of my right brain or my left brain more analytical but actually, I prefer to be more creative, use more of my right brain, left and right brain, okay? And so there's a conflict that it's like one side was having to do this occupation. One side of my brain But my desire is to pull from my the other side of my brain. 
and they're both kind of conflicting and fighting with each other. Just like with this logo you see. See, one is like straight up, perfect. The other one is like freestyle, boom, artistic. One part of me is pulling me and said, hey, okay, this is what we have to do to make an income. The other part of me is saying, hey, follow your dream. Open the doors, just jump out the window. They don't always match with each other. They don't always communicate well with each other. Again, what you see is the same Saying the same thing, Orlando Tyrone, both ways, but different styles. Now, an example of what is incongruent behavior. Incongruent behavior is saying one thing yet doing another. For example, someone might say they need to improve their driving skills, but this person does not practice driving or engage in any driving courses to improve their skills. Hey, yes, my desire is to be a phenomenal, a grand designer. An artist in all sense, fashion, music, architect, um, civil, grand designer. But here I am pity patting around in a career field that of my choice, Cause I chose it. But I could not go all in because it's like, it's another part of me. It's like, how are you gonna be this lunatic? <laughs> what you desire to be and what you know that you are a lunatic. But you gotta present yourself in more and much more professional manner. You know, have all the answers. I don't wanna know all the answers. I wanna know what I know. Create what I want to create. As an artist, this, this is what we are. However, it's like we still have to play within the rules of society. But then there's something that's fighting to get outside of me. Something in that's fighting to get out. You understand? And so this is where this incongruence comes in at. It's like, this is not lining up. So discovering this, discovering this term, and again, like many other things that I've been just discovering these last couple of days even, it's helping me. It's helping me to say, okay, this is a problem. It's kind of like, you got some ailment, you go to the doctor and they tell you, hey, uh, yeah, this is the issue. You need to stop drinking Kool-Aid, stop smoking cigarettes, um, exercise a bit more. Or, hey, you're not gonna be here much longer or you're at least not gonna live the type of life that you want for yourself. So, in conclusion, because again, I'm on a finite time, be self, be yourself. When you be yourself, that's when you come one. And 
And that is ultimately the goal in all of this. We were not one, we're not being what we're created to be. Okay? And I'm created to be OT. See you tomorrow.